Hi, I'm with California Stone Coating giving a demonstration of a chimney saddle when you have a stucco wall. A lot of times when you pull out this riglet here around this saddle, this chimney saddle, you bust the stucco and it's difficult to get it back in clean because this is, this is real clean, the stucco work that has been done here. So I recommend uh, buying the stone wrap that we we sell and it comes in a roll and usually 10 foot by 12 inches and then you measure out what the the size is because what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up the edge I'm going to show you how to do that and you first you first wrap the side and and this what this does as you can tell there's a little bit of rust on here it's a pretty good saddle a lot of roofers would leave this just the way it is but I would recommend giving a, a protection on it so that th this roof that is supposed to be a lifetime roof is probably going to last about 30, maybe 50. Um, but, but this will last uh, 50 years just as long as, as this when you put this wrap and then they're, they're not worrying about the saddle completely rusting out. So what I would do is get a wire brush and kind of wire brush this a little bit, get, get some of this rust off, get some of this back here off, off the dirt, you know. And once you get this thing clean, um, and then you, you brush it off, and what I'll do is I'll clean this up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, after we clean it up and we get some of that rust off, get some of the dirt out, the back of this stuff is, is you just peel it off. You have a, a tear where you're going to go and you push it in around. Kind of went in a little crooked. And then the second one it goes up, you want to first put it in, and you know you're going to turn up right underneath this. You go out to the edge and you make your slit where that's going to come down. Remember you have this one coming up and around and then this one here. So then what you do here, there's several ways you can do this. You can take the whole thing off, but you got to be careful because if it falls onto itself, it'll stick and it'll be gone. Or you can just take off half of it. The half that you're going to put up on the wall. And then you would take off the other half when it's stuck onto the wall. So here you have, and now I can slide across because it won't stick. Peel back to where you want to get that to be. Push it down under. And sometimes I try to get it so that this even falls behind the counter. Could have pushed that down a little bit more. And then what you do is you grab the sheet that was there and you peel back the rest off. If it rips, you just find where you left it and you pull it back. Now I'll take a knife and I'll trim this and trim this so that I can tuck it up underneath. You see, this is the, the, the um, they, call it, they call it a surface mount or a riglet. Riglet goes into the stucco. Sometimes we pull this off, pull this saddle out, take it down to California Stone Coat, get it stone coated like I showed you. Sometimes I take this off, pull this out and wrap it right here and put it right back in. 
or if I don't want to take it all off and it's not a bad saddle like you saw, I will just wrap it right here. I'll trim it up right now uh, with, my, with my knife. Uh, I got a little crooked here. This should be all the way to this edge and straight because then when you come up, some people, they like to leave this open like this. Then when they, they, their shingles are, are come up here, they nail it and then they push it down and rub it. And then they don't have to put any caulking on the nail because the city requires that your, your exposed nails be cocked. And I don't usually like black, black spot. Even though we sell a touch-up kit, and if you do a black spot, you have these little granules, throw it in it, and it makes it. I mean, that, that is separating yourself from other roofers. That is quality. No one sees this. You know, most, most roofers would say, oh, I can't see it from my house. It's in the back. Nobody knows. But to speak with any authority or have any conviction or have any weight in your words when you're talking to customers that you do quality is when you do it in secret, when no one sees it when no one knows the, what you do. And I know you understand that, and, and you, uh, you have character. That's what separates uh, roofing uh, contractors from other roofing contractors. People that really uh, care and know that when they left, that was quality. What they did, they specialized in quality, like this roofing company here. Hey, rock on. <laughs>